Step one, click on add students and choose the type of student that you'd like to add. There are two types of students in TeachWorks. The first is child students and the second is independent students. Child students are students that are not billed directly, but rather are billed through a parent account. These are generally used by children. Independent students are students that are billed directly. These are generally used for adult students. Let's start off with taking a look at the family and child student. The second step is to enter the contact information for the family. Step 3. If required, add additional contacts, such as parents or guardians, to the family by clicking on the Add Contact link. Additional contacts can receive notifications and be given user accounts, however they will not have access to any billing information. Step 4. Add contact information and select the notification settings for the additional contact. Step 5. Select the notification settings for the family profile. Step 6. Enable a user account for the family if you would like to grant your client access to a personal TeachWorks account. Step 7. When you are ready to add a child student to the family profile, click on Save and Add Student. The eighth step is to add the contact information for the child student. Step 9. Add the student information such as the child's school, the grade, and the subjects. Step 10. You can assign a default service, location, and teacher to a student directly on their profile. When you schedule lessons and select a student, all the defaults will be pre-filled, allowing you to streamline your scheduling. Step 11. Choose a billing method. The first billing method is use service list price. With this billing method selected, the rate set in the service list will be used to determine the cost of the lessons. Another billing method is set price on the student's profile. With this billing method, the hourly rate is set on the student's profile and will be used to determine the lesson costs. Package billing. You would use this if you bill your clients in advance for a package of hours or lessons that they would use over an undefined period of time. The final billing method is charge flat fee. You would use this billing method if you bill your clients a set amount, regardless of the number of lessons they take over a period of time. Step 12. Choose the notification settings for the child student and enable user account if required. Step 13. To quickly add another student to the family, click on Add Student to Family in the sidebar.
To view the families in your account, click on the Students tab and then select Families. Now let's take a look at adding an independent student. Step 14. Click on the Students tab and then click on Add Independent Student. Adding an independent student is very similar to adding a child student. Step 15. Add the contact information, select their defaults, choose a billing method, and manage the notifications for the independent student. 